Welcome, Lighthouse family, to the first home group teaching of 2021. This year, we'll be walking through the book of Psalms and diving into the variety of emotions and seasons of life that we all walk through. Let's get started with hashtag all the feels. From newborns to seniors, one thing we all have in common is that we all deal with emotions. No one is exempt from expressing some sort of emotion. You may not be as exuberant as others, or maybe you don't know how to process your emotions as well as others, but we all experience them. As we walk through Psalms, we will study the biblical perspective on emotions. We can either be dictated by our emotions or we can use each good and bad emotion to bring us closer to God and bring glory to Him. We are first diving into Psalm 33 to look at the emotion of joy. Joy is something that we all strive after, but not everyone possesses. There are lots of people in this world that claim to have joy, but they really have is a fleeting happiness that is tossed around with the waves of life and circumstances. What we will study in Psalm 33 is that true joy is found in the Lord and can be present in our lives no matter the situation that we are encompassed in. Let me ask you this, what does joy look like to you? For me, it looks like a trip to the mountains with my husband and dog, drinking all the coffee my body can handle and enjoying God's beautiful creation. Unfortunately, this is not what my daily life looks like. And maybe joy looks way different to you than it does to me, but one thing that is the same for all of us is that earthly and material joy is fleeting. Only true joy that goes beyond our current position is found in our Savior. The Bible promises that we can have this joy that is found in the midst of mourning or in the midst of peace. Let's first look at Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Lord is near to his children, so there is no need to stress or worry. Instead, Paul calls us to rejoice in the Lord. Let's also look at James 1, 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, and let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. We are to consider it pure joy to go through the trials of life because God is doing a work in us. We have the promise here that if we will place ourselves in His hands, then we can have the joy that comes in the midst of the trials and testings. Because of the joy of the Lord can withstand the fire. We even see this in the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They continued to praise God and stand firm on His promises, even when threats of the furnace became more and more real. And then in the fire, the Lord was present with them. I'm sure they counted it joy to live for God, even through their circumstances. As we dive deeper into Psalm 33 with our home groups, we will read of the encouragement from the psalmist for us to find joy in our relationship with God that goes beyond the fleeting moments of life. We will study Psalm 33 and be reminded how God has spoken over us in the past, how we daily should be looking for His plan, and that we can be anticipatory of His power to come. I want to encourage you to be hopeful to seek this joy in your life. This is not a secret prize that is being withheld from you, but God has placed his hands wide open, waiting for you to receive his gift of exceeding joy. I pray that this discussion and study into Psalm 33 will refresh your love for God and bring revelation of his joy in your life.